What's up folks, Dennis here in my lab today. And if you've been following Make Easy, you may have figured out that I am a chemistry teacher by trade. In this video, I'm gonna show you some pretty cool reactive metals. So stay tuned. This is Make Easy, the alkali metals. The alkali metals occupy the first group of the periodic table called the alkali metals. And they include lithium, sodium, and potassium. These metals are really reactive to water and oxygen. The other alkali metals include rubidium, cesium, and francium. But these metals are so reactive that we can't even store them in school. So let me show you how lithium, sodium, and potassium react with water. The alkali metals react with water, so I need to wear gloves since our hands have natural moisture. Alkali metals need to be stored in oil, so it doesn't react with the oxygen in the air that's already in the bottle. This is lithium. It is a metal, but looks dull on the outside, as it's already reacted with oxygen over the years. I have some filter paper here to absorb the oil, since water and oil don't mix. Lithium is a pretty soft metal, as I don't need too much pressure to cut off a sample. Once I cut it, you can see that it is shiny, like a typical metal. This is sodium. It has a dull white color, but only due to it oxidizing over the years. It is soft. It takes little effort to cut off a sample. Sodium is actually shiny like a typical metal. I'll dab off any excess oil and return the rest back into the container. This is potassium. The outside of the metal has reacted with oxygen over time, giving it this dull, light, gray color. It is extremely soft as it takes no effort to cut off a piece. I'll dab off the oil and now we'll react all the alkali metal samples with water. Here I have a beaker of water. I'm going to add a drop of phenolphthalein indicator which turns pink in basic or alkali solutions. You can see the lithium sample has already reacted with the oxygen in the air and is no longer shiny but is now dull grey. Let's drop it in. You can see the lithium sample skimming around the water surface. Pretty reactive for a metal. The gas you see being formed is hydrogen gas. The water is turning pink because the solution forming is lithium hydroxide, which is basic, and hence why they call it the alkali metals. Let's react sodium with water. I've already added some phenolphthalein to the beaker. As you can see, the sodium is more reactive than lithium. Unlike your typical metals, it reacts violently with water, causing that little sample to explode. I wonder how potassium will react. Okay, now potassium. Notice again in that short time, it's no longer shiny because of its reaction with oxygen. Let's drop it in. Did you see how reactive that was? It's even more reactive than sodium. The instant it touched the water, it catches fire and then explodes. Pretty cool, eh? Thanks for watching. If you're looking for more science tips and tricks, we'd appreciate your support by subscribing, liking, or commenting to this video. And until our next one, stay well, folks.